First of all, I would like to welcome you all to this presentation. My name is Ebsey and I'm from Juma University. I'm here to present the research paper entitled With Isolation and the Characterization of Microcrystalline Cellulose from Rabrosti Step Straw. On behalf of our research group, I would like to thank the organizer and all the sponsors to provide us with an opportunity uh, to present our paper on this uh, conference. This uh, presentation uh, will uh, cover uh, the introduction, methodology, result, discussion, conclusion, and uh, some of the reference used uh, that used uh, in this uh, research. Introduction. Cellulose is a naturally available polysaccharide with attractive structure and unique properties such as sustainability, biological degradability, and biocompatibility. It is the constituent of uh, different natural lignocellulosic materials such as sugar cane bagas, cotton, hemp with straw, and other raw materials. It covers uh, approximately one third of plant tissues and it can be produced through uh, photosynthesis. MCC or uh, microcrystalline cellulose is a cellulose in a micrometer range with improved crystallinity and it can also defined as a partially depolymerized cellulose and it is synthesized from uh, cellulose particles by using different methods such as mechanical method, enzymatic carbolysis and chemical uh, methods. Application area of uh, this uh, microcrystalline uh, cellulose are uh, pharmaceuticals and pharmaceuticals. It is used as uh, disintegrant in dry compression of uh, tablet manufacturing. It also enhances the drug dissolution by improving or by increasing the rate of uh, tablet uh, disintegration. It is used in food industry as anti-caking uh, and bulking agent. Also used as a fat substitute and a massifier. In composite and paper industry, it is used as a reinforcement uh, material. In uh, cosmetics industry, it is uh, used as the uh, thickener binder uh, and binder in the production of beauty care uh, products. So, the requirement of MCC in this application areas and industries results in the exploitation of naturally and locally available uh, resources for this uh, synthesis. So, in this research, uh, the raw material used was uh, teff straw, and teff is the uh, most widely uh, cultivated krill crop in Eritrea and Ethiopia for uh, food. Also, marginally, uh, teff uh, is produced and is cultivated in India, Australia, Germany, uh, Netherlands, and other uh, countries, but Ethiopia covers around 90% of the world's uh, teff uh, production. The uh, straw of uh, the, this tape or tape straw has different uh, local uses such as mulching, construction, uh, firewood, and animal uh, feed. The chemicals and equipment that used for the laboratory purpose in this uh, research were uh, listed here. This is the experimental uh, setup at the first step. The raw materials, the raw material was uh, collected, uh, dried, and grinded in order to obtain uh, reduced uh, particle uh, size. After that, uh, hot water treatment was uh, used in order to remove the water-soluble uh, substances. The other process is the delignification process in which uh, lignins, uh, lignin was removed from the uh, component of uh, this uh, tape straw. This was done by using acidified sodium chloride solution and the sodium chloride solution was acidified by using the glacial acetic acid. The other uh, process is hot alkali treatment uh, process. This was done by using a sodium hydroxide solution and it is used in order to extract the cellulose particles. The final uh, process is the microcrystalline uh, cellulose uh, extraction and this was uh, done by acid uh, hydrolysis and the chemical or the acid used uh, for this purpose is hydrochloric acid. After the extraction process there, were, there was a characterization process so pH uh, was uh, determined by using the pH uh, meter. The other one is particle size of the MCC was uh, determined by uh, using a uh, sieve uh, shaker. So 
Uh, 30 gram of microcrystalline cellulose was measured and kept on the top of the first sieve and the sieve that used uh, for this purpose was arranged, uh, were arranged in a descending order from uh, 250 micrometer to 63 micrometer. After that, the sieves were uh, shaken for uh, 5 uh, minutes and the quantity of MCs retained on every uh, sieve was measured and the average size was uh, computed. The other one is a water uh, soluble uh, substance. The water soluble uh, substance of MCC uh, was uh, determined. 5 grams of MCC powder was added to the conical flask uh, which contains 80 ml of distilled water and it was shaken for 10 minutes. After that it was uh, filtered through uh, a filter paper into a clean and uh, weighted uh, beaker. After that the filtrate in the beaker was evaporated on the hot plate and kept in the oven at 105 degrees centigrade for one hour. Finally the water soluble uh, substance uh, was determined by taking the ratio of uh, weight of the filtrate to the initial weight of uh, the sample. The other one is determination of hydration uh, capacity. One gram of the sample uh, was uh, uh, measured and kept in 15 ml uh, plastic tubes or centrifuge uh, tubes and mixed with 10 ml distilled water. Then uh, the, the centrifuge tubes are um, was uh, vigorously shaken manually for two minutes. Then the mixture was kept for uh, five minutes and uh, mixed by inverting uh, three times. And uh, it was instantly uh, centrifuge at 1000 revolution per minute for uh, 10 minutes. Finally, the residue was decanted and weighted. Then uh, the hydration capacity was uh, computed by uh, taking uh, the ratio of uh, the weight of uh, the uh, residue or the sediment after the centrifugation process to the weight of the dried uh, samples. The other one is the moisture sorbition capacity and the loss on drying. So moisture sorbition capacity was uh, determined. Two grams of uh, the MCC was taken and uniformly dispersed on a petri dish and the sample was kept in a desiccator at room temperature for uh, five days and finally the weight gained after five days was noted and the moisture solution capacity was determined by subtracting the final weight from the initial weight. Uh, the loss on drying was determined. 5 gram of the microcellulose was uh, taken in the kept in an oven at 105 degrees centigrade until the mass of the samples becomes uh, constant and it was uh, calculated by using the formula used for the calculation of moisture uh, content. The other one is fractional group analysis. This was done uh, for both tapestro and the microcrystalline cellulose and they were analyzed by using Perkin Elmer uh, FTR spectrometer. The crystallinity analysis also determined uh, by using X-ray diffractometer and the thermogrammetry analysis also conducted for both tapestro and MCC by using TGA uh, 4000 Perkin uh, Elmer. When we came to the result and the discussion uh, section, the first one is approximate analysis. The moisture content, ash content, volatile matter, and fixed carbon content were found to be 8.4%, 5.1%, uh, 74.2%, and 15.6% uh, uh, respectively. This result uh, also uh, compared with that of previously uh, conducted uh, researches. So here this table shows uh, the comparison of uh, the uh, results and it is in the acceptable ranges with uh, previously conducted uh, workers. The next one is chemical composition of the straw. So extractive lignin, hemicellulose and cellulose content were found to be 6.4%, 15.6%, 29.5% and 37.5% respectively. Here this table presents the comparison of the chemical composition of the tape straw with other uh, previously conducted uh, researches. So extractives are uh, responsible for uh, the color and the smell of lignocellulosic material. So the extracted amount calculated here was 6.4% uh, based on a dry basis. So the high amount of extractive produces a high amount of colors and it needs repetitive uh, treatment process to remove um, the extractives from the raw material in order to obtain uh, a product with good quality. 
The lignin is a rigid and stable part of the uh, plant component. So if the high amount of lignin is uh, present in the raw material, it makes it rigid and uh, difficult to uh, decompose the plant in order to extract the cellulose uh, products. So uh, this uh, products or this uh, value of chemical combustion of the tape straw was, was uh, presented and uh, compared with previously worked uh, researches. And the other thing is all this table uh, shows the comparison of the chemical composition of tape straw with other lignocellulosic materials. So as you see from the uh, table, there is a comparison. So uh, the uh, cellulose content of the tape straw was uh, 37.5. Uh, Here it is 37.5. And when we compare with uh, the top rice ask, uh, corn stover and water hyenas, it is uh, it has a high amount of uh, cellulose content than uh, that of this uh, raw materials. The other is lignin content, so it has lower uh, lignin content than that of corn stover and sugar cane bagas. Also, it has low uh, hemicellulose content uh, than that of uh, sugar cane bagas, uh, rice husk, and uh, corn stover. So, this means or thus reasons make a tape straw a suitable biomass for the extraction of uh, cellulose because it reduces the uh, consumption of high concentration chemicals and the retention of time, um, the retention time required for the extraction process since uh, it has lower uh, lignin and uh, hemicellulose as well as extractive contents uh, than the other raw materials. The uh, MCC extracted was uh, white and fine uh, powder and the yield was uh, 17.8 based on a dry basis. Here this table shows the physical chemical properties of the MCC. So pH loss on drying, uh, moisture sorbition capacity, adhesion capacity and mean particle size uh, were uh, determined and presented here. So when you see the pH of the MCC, it is around 6.7%. It's around 6.7. So the alkalinity of cellulose microcrystalline affects the structure of the uh, MCC when uh, stored. So it should be around uh, the neutral and which 6.7 uh, is acceptable. The other one is a water soluble substance. So this water soluble substance is uh, found to be 0.18 and the recommended was 0.5%. Water holding capacity is found to be 3.7 and the loss on drying was 4.6% and the acceptable value should be uh, less than uh, 6%. The other thing is the particle size, so the particle determined was 156.4 micrometer and this uh, particle size shows the MCC extracted here was uh, in a uh, micrometer range. The other one is moisture sorbition uh, capacity. This uh, property explains uh, the stability of MCC during uh, storage and the variation in crystallinity may uh, cause the change in moisture sorbition uh, capacity and this uh, the moisture sorbition capacity uh, found uh, to be 18.6 percent here there is a comparison of uh, this the result of this work with other uh, previously conducted uh, workers the other one is the FTR uh, result so FTR result is presented uh, here and the assignment of the different peaks also uh, discussed by using uh, this uh, table. As we see from the uh, figure, uh, there are different peaks. So the first peak uh, around 3,300 centimeter inverse shows the stretching of intramolecular erosion bonds of each groups and cellulose, and it uh, becomes smaller after different chemical treatments for the uh, MCC uh, sample. The next one is around uh, the broadband, which observed at to around 2,900 uh, centimeter inverse, and uh, this shows the CH stretching of methyl and the methylene uh, groups. So. And the uh, lignin, this shows uh, here it is, uh, there is a broad uh, spectral band and here it is uh, reduced. So this shows the effectiveness of uh, the uh, uh, chemical uh, treatment uh, process. The other peak is around 1632 uh, centimeter inverse, which is related to the water absorbed by the uh, tape straw. The other one is around 15 uh, to 11 centimeter inverse. 
This is uh, shows the presence of methoxy groups of lignin and the CH deformation of uh, methylene. And this is this peak is uh, disappeared in the MCC. The other one is around 1045, which is related to the COC uh, pyronis ring uh, stretching. And this also um, disappeared in the MCC uh, sample. And this uh, shows uh, uh, the effectiveness of this uh, the uh, treatment uh, process used for the extraction of this process and shows the uh, reduction in the removal of lignin hemicellulose amorphous parts in the uh, lignocellulosic material. The other peak is around 896 which shows the presence of beta glycosidic linkage in a cellulose or shows the presence of pure uh, cellulose. The other result is the FTR, uh, the XRD uh, result. So uh, the crystallinity of cellulose uh, plays a vital role in the chemical and uh, mechanical properties of the MCC. So on the decreased crystallinity, crystallinity increase uh, shows the presence of higher amount of amorphous uh, regions. So here the MCC or the crystallinity index of the MCC uh, was uh, increased uh, from posterum uh, after the uh, different chemical uh, treatment uh, processes so the tape straw has 47.7% and the microcrystalline cellulose has 72.8% uh, crystallinity index so the crystallinity index of MCC was increased after the treatment uh, processes so this uh, shows uh, or this uh, confirms the uh, reduction of amorphous regions in the straw and this uh, result supports the uh, FPTR uh, result. The other one is the TJ or the D and the DTGA curve uh, results. Here this uh, picture uh, shows the TGA uh, result. So there are three different uh, regions of mass losses. So the first degradation stage uh, shows the release of moisture and the second uh, is related to the degradation of lignin cellulose and uh, hemicellulose of untreated um, straw. The third uh, region, which is above uh, 3600 uh, degrees centigrade, is corresponds to the uh, char uh, formation. This table and the figure uh, shows the result of the DTGA curves. So this uh, result uh, tells us the, about the Onset temperature and uh, maximum temperature for both uh, tape straw and MCC. So uh, this uh, shows, or from this uh, result, uh, it shows or it indicates uh, about the uh, thermal stability. So the MCC has uh, better thermal stability than that of the untreated sample, and it confirms the removal of other unnecessary amorphous parts. And this result supports the FTR and XRD. Uh, Samples and this also illustrates the usefulness of chemical treatments used for the extraction uh, process in order to extract the MCC. Finally, in order to uh, conclude this uh, work, cellulose microcrystalline has been successfully extracted from the uh, tape straw by using uh, the infection, alkali treatment, and acid dialysis. The cellulose content uh, value determined was 37.5%. The yield of MCC was 17.8%, and the particles size was uh, 156.4 micrometer. The other one is the organoleptic properties as well as, as the other zicochemical properties uh, shows uh, uh, almost similar to that of the commercially uh, available MCC. The functional group analysis, crystallinity and thermogravimetry analysis uh, shows the total uh, removal of wax, pectin and lignin and the partial degradation of amorphous uh, regions of the straw and the presence of crystal structure in MCC. So the properties of this MCC are ideal and recommended for the application of uh, MCC in the extraction of uh, nanocellulose, pharmaceutical areas, filler in the polymer uh, composites and other um, application. The, here it, there are uh, some uh, references used in this research. Finally, thank you for uh, listening my presentation. Uh, thank you.